Okay, Central Grade Artists, we are ready to create our own Navajo blankets. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Navajo blankets as if they were wrapped around a person. So near the bottom of your paper, we're going to create an arch. This will represent the back of a person. And I'll make another one over here. I'm going to demonstrate with two, but you're welcome to add three um, as we go on. But for demonstration purposes, I'll just work with the two. Whoops, there goes my crayon. All right. So to create that Navajo style, I know that rectangles were used. Diamonds were used. I saw some use of zigzag. I also saw squares and triangles. You can try and follow one from the board or create one on your own using just those simple lines and shapes that all third grade artists are able to use. Now to show that this these are people, we're gonna put an oval at the top of each. And you get to be a hairstylist. So I'll use my crayon to sweep the lines down. If you wanted to show short hair or a ponytail. Okay. Sweep down. Fill that in. Want a longer style. You could do something like that. So it looks like you're looking from the back. Now they look like they are just sitting here, but we can create that horizon line. That's where the land meets the sky. And that'll help show the Navajo tribe's landscape. Add a couple of that toes over there, or if you wanted to show some mountains. All right, great. Now you can use any of your coloring tools that you have at your house to design with color. And by the time you're done, it'll look just like a blanket. Let me show you the one I have here. So here's one in design. Lots of rectangles, triangles. Here's one in color. You could also use a um, plain grocery bag. You could cut it apart and use the back side if you wanted the look of the brown. Looks like it's your turn now. Get your pencils going, start creating.